Hello and welcome to the Think Tank. I'm Pastor Devin. Thanks so much for joining us today. Yesterday we talked about joy. You know, what a great thing to have joy. <clears throat> Jesus said he came to give us in Isaiah 35, 10, everlasting joy. That means we can have joy every moment of our life. You know, when we're filled with joy, you know, life works so much better. You know, life goes along so much easier when we choose to live in joy. When you're, you're miserable, things seem to go to snail space. Problem is most of the world wants to be miserable. Or you might say, oh, I don't want to be miserable. But they spend most of their time being miserable. We need to choose to have joy. During this Christmas season, you know, joy abounds. It's everywhere um, and has a great season. But as soon as it's over, it's like the joy gets sucked right out. And we're right back into what people call normal life, reality. You know, Jesus says your reality can be joy every day. Yeah, there's going to be issues. Things are going to happen. But can you choose to have joy? And it says in Nehemiah 8.10, the joy of the Lord is your strength. When you have joy in the Lord, when you choose to be joyful, even when you have every reason not to be, that's when God shows up to be the strength for you, shows up in strong ways to do mighty things for you, in ways that blow your mind and blow those around your minds too, because he wants you to be able to have everlasting joy. You know, I, I, I'd much rather be joyful than be miserable. I mean, that's what God really wants for us. And, and when you do that, so many things happen. And also when you're full of joy, you know, sin becomes less attractive. You know, th you know, sin is what keeps you from having the blessings of God in your life. When, when, when you have joy in your life, you know what? Sin becomes less attractive. Sin, like, why would I want to mess this up? God's blessing me. Why would I want to do? Why would I want to mess it up? Why would we go back to having a miserable time when even the bad things come? I have, I choose to have joy. Then God moves in a great way. And then also, what's the joy do? Joy also makes us less self, uh, makes us more self forgetful. And you might say, well, I want to forget myself. Here's it. When you focus on others, like Jesus focus on you, that means everybody else can focus on you. You know what? Here's the thing. When we focus on others and we do things for that, then God can focus on us, on our issues. But also when we do that as a church, we do that as Christians, then, everybody, then you're focused on somebody else. That means there's more people focusing on you than you focusing yourself. Because when you focus on yourself, people go, ah, man, I don't want to be with them. That's They're, they're stuck up. They're prideful. But when you're humble and you just bring joy, you bring joy to other people. People want to bring joy into your life. It's, it's a Jesus has a great plan. We need to follow it, and we need to choose to be joyful. And it is a choice. Uh, misery does, is is a choice as well. And you have a choice between one or the other. I really hope you choose to be joyful. Now I say, there's some days I don't feel joyful. Okay, I get that. Uh, that's why you need the church. That's why you need Christian brothers and sisters. So you can go to them and let their joy overflow into you. Let them help build you up. When two walk together, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes that one can pick him up. Uh, what an amazing thing. Walk together with other people. Don't try to go any alone because the devil, the world is going to try to sap your joy all the time. Don't let that happen. Find someone. Be with someone. Be in a fellowship with others. And watch the joy of the Lord become your strength. And when you don't think it is, then others can show you it can be and help you stay in joy. Because we're so much better when we're joyful. So I hope you enjoy, you enjoyed today's message. Uh, but choose to live in joy. And when you're not, go find somebody. Go find something. Go get immersed in the word of God. Go get immersed in worship. Go find somebody. Go do something to make yourself feel happy. Because here's the thing. God wants you to live every moment in joy. What's going to happen tomorrow? You have no idea what's going to happen. You have no idea what's going to go on. But what you do know, you have a choice right now to live in joy and allow God's presence to be with you all the time. And you know what? He wants you to stay that way. He wants you to have everlasting joy. So go ahead and see if God doesn't do things to keep the joy alive in your life every single moment of your life. And why does God want to do it? Well, you know why. Because Jesus loves you. I love you. And you're absolutely awesome.